I'm back with another video and if you're new to my channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on post notifications so you can be notified of my next post. It is currently decision day and I honestly forgot that it was decision day until I just seen a whole bunch of like Ooh, I'm going to college posts on my timeline and I thought that this would be the perfect video for you know the occasion because it has to do with college in today's video I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of going to Morgan State University I seen a lot of people saying that they have committed to the school and I just want to let you guys know you know what you're in for I don't want to discourage you from going to the school um it's just you know what i experienced and i'm just putting you on i'm giving you the tea because you don't want to get there and just be like because that happened to me people say like they dm me asking me like how was my experience and i feel like i have a lot of information to give but it's just too much to type so i figured that making a video would be great because you know when you go on campus tours and stuff they only tell you the good stuff so i want to tell you the good and the bad the stuff they don't tell you another disclaimer i am not trying to bash the school at all i'm just giving my opinion because when i when i went to the school and i was looking up things people were not giving me the tea they was not telling me what i needed to hear so when i went to the school i was surprised so if you want to know the pros and cons of going to this school then keep watching the video and let's get into it so we're gonna start off with the pros because you know who wants to start off with hearing bad things so we're gonna start off with the good stuff and then i'm gonna hit y'all with the bad stuff later first pro is that the campus is actually very nice the campus is very pretty very appealing when i walk around the campus it's like it's just beautiful to me. Lots of trees. The grass is always cut. That's what you can count on. They always cutting the grass, always taking care of the lawn. So it looks really nice. Um, they're fixing it up too. So they're putting new buildings and stuff. Although the buildings are very old, some of them are like revamped inside. So like they look more modern inside. So I'm guessing that they like remodeled the insides a couple years back, but it looks really nice. Some days I just be wanting to, you know, go outside and do homework, even though I don't do it. But like, you could just go outside and sit outside and just enjoy the view, especially near the quad area where the like the academic buildings are. Sometimes I used to just walk around campus because I'm bored and the view is really nice. Or like in between classes, I would sit in the quad and just wait instead of going to my dorm because it was really nice outside the second pro is that the class sizes are small this is a good thing because when the class sizes are small the classroom is more intimate the teacher can you know help you learn better instead of a class of like 70 plus students where your teacher doesn't even know your name and she doesn't care about your grade and how you're doing in the class she just teaches and leaves since the classes are small, the teacher knows your name, the teacher knows whether you're doing well or not, the teacher cares, they help you. It's just easier to learn in that type of environment. I mean, if you don't want your teacher to know your name and you don't want your teacher to know that you're in the class, then I don't know what to tell you because literally the majority of the classes are small class sizes. 30 kids, 40 kids, that's not bad. That's pretty, that's like a high school size class. The third pro is there are a lot of organizations to join. There's so many. I joined the Morgan X dance team. If you want to join an organization, they do have an organization fair where all the orgs are lined up outside on the yard in front of the student center and you know you go to the little tables and you sign up for the ones you want to join you can join multiple if you want but you know make sure it's reasonable because you don't want to join so many organizations on top of class and if you do a sport that's just a lot of responsibility because they take their organization seriously if you choose one or two you got to be committed to them so just keep that in mind it's not like oh i'm gonna join this organization but 
I'm not gonna go to any of the meetings or anything. So yeah, don't do that. There's something for everybody. There's something for everybody. The fourth pro is that the professors are pretty nice. The ones that I had are really cool. They actually cared about me and my grade in class. They cared about whether I was getting the information well enough and you know applying it to my work to ensure that you get good professors you can use rate my professor because i'm pretty sure there are professors there that aren't that good but i haven't experienced any you got to make sure that you when you're scheduling your class make sure you are on top of it because just like you everybody else is using rate my professor and you can tell that a professor is good when that class has no more seats and the last pro is the parties of course everybody knows morgan for the parties it's known as a party school woo -woo. i mean there's a party for literally everything quarantine came like we all had to leave the school and the same day we found out we had to leave the school there's a quarantine party there's a corona party there's a party like every weekend so if you miss one there's more to come the only thing i would say about that is like the parties to me are kind of the same and if you're from jersey and you're used to going to parties here and hearing club music i'm just gonna tell you get that out your head it's slow for that along with parties there's a lot of on-campus events and that goes for like homecoming as well homecoming is very very lit if you two turn teen up in there like it looked like project x if you ever seen that movie that's what the campus looked like on homecoming day like i'm not joking homecoming is lit they have a homecoming concert activities the whole homecoming week so that's pretty cool they also have i love morgan week in the springtime it's like a homecoming but in the spring but obviously i didn't get to experience that because of quarantine but hey i know they had parties in like the student center sometimes on-campus events are in the student center so that's expect them to be there sometimes they have pit parties those are not on campus events but they just happen they happen a lot the pit parties be fun so now that was it for the pros so now we're gonna get into the cons of morgan state university first con are the dorms i, I know y'all would not want the dorms to be a con but hey okay the school's old and so are the dorms. The dorm I lived in was Blount Towers, and that is the all girls freshman dorm. Thankfully, they opened two other dorms for the girls, the freshman girls, which is Baldwin and Cummings. The difference between Baldwin and Cummings is that first, they're not as big as Blount, and the rooms are a little bit smaller, but they don't have community bathrooms like Blount does. So the bathroom you share with the other room next to you so two rooms to a bathroom so basically it's four of y'all to a bathroom and y'all have to clean it the people don't come clean it for you that's the only difference my experience in blount was something else first off the dorm hall is just dirty okay i'm not even gonna sugarcoat nothing for you guys because i just want y'all to know the truth the dorms are dirty and um, when I first went for access orientation, I cried. It looked like I was in a jail cell. Like the walls are brick and the bed is very, like you could spill the springs in your back. So make sure you have a mattress cover. The bathrooms are dirty, like they're not the cleanest. They do get cleaned. I don't know, I, I honestly don't know how many times a week the bathroom gets cleaned because to me it felt like when are these people gonna clean the bathroom maybe three times a week or maybe twice a week but they don't clean it on the weekends so whatever they do Friday that's how it is until Monday I just I'm just in awe because I didn't expect girls to be so dirty did your mom teach you at home and then they have the nerve to get cute and go outside like they not dirty. I know there was an issue with mice too in some of the dorms. A girl across the hall from me had a mouse in her room. I made sure my door was shut at all times. I don't have time for no mice to be running out your room into mine. There was an occasion where um, some of the dorm rooms did not have, I think it was heat. Either it was heat or, or air, but they didn't have it. If it's cold outside, I'm cold. I don't know, I just felt like when I was going into the dorm, it just looked like a project building. 
and I'm not exaggerating, like, I felt like I lived in the projects. I shouldn't be paying the amount of money I'm paying to be living like this. I don't live like this at home. I should not be paying like $3,000 to live with mice if I don't have mice in my house. Also with the dorms, there's two laundry rooms on each floor, but you do have to pay for laundry, which I thought was pretty crazy because I know other colleges, a couple other colleges, where they don't have to pay for laundry. So why should I have to pay for laundry? You have to pay for everything at this school, everything. Nothing is free, nothing, not even printing. I mean, printing is free nowhere, but you only get $25 a year for printing. What is that doing? There also isn't a kitchen area for you to cook food or wash your dishes. I would recommend getting like reusable dishes, but you do have to wash them in the bathroom sink. And sometimes the bathroom sinks are nasty. You gotta make sacrifices. Lastly about the dorms is that the visitation rules are very strict. Like, like you're really in prison strict. Like worse than your mom's house strict. There's no curfew on when you can come inside, in and out the dorms. Like you can leave and come back whenever you want to. But if you have guests over, on the weekdays, they can only stay from 10. And this is, I'm gonna break it down. From Monday through Thursday, Morgan students can come from 12 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Outside people like your mom, your sister, your boyfriend, all of those other people, your best friend, they can come from 4 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. Then they gotta get out. They have to get out. You're gonna get a citation or you're gonna get visitation taken away from the whole building. And then on Friday, Morgan students can come from 12 to 12, so 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. Outside people can come from four to 12. Saturday, everybody can come from 12 to 12. And then Sunday, it goes back to normal. Second con is there are not enough food options. Y'all heard of the freshman 15? right freshman year gain 15 pounds no freshman year you lose 15 pounds i was starving we was all starving there are five food options on campus rawlings which is the dining hall the canteen which is like the food court chick-fil-a subway and auntie Anne's. To a new student, we're like, oh my God, Chick-fil-A, Auntie Anne, Subway. Uh, with the food options, there are meal swipes, of course, breakfast, lunch, dinner. There's light breakfast after breakfast, light lunch and light dinner. Those are only like an hour each after the um, period. You can only eat once per period, so. You eat once for breakfast, once for lunch, once for dinner. No exceptions. Lunch starts at 11 and it ends at 2. Dinner starts at 4 and ends at 7. So lunch, that's pretty. That's a pretty decent time. But dinner is a different story. Who eats dinner at 4? I don't. So say I don't eat all day and I decide I'm really hungry. Like I need to eat right now. So I go eat dinner at 4. Three hours later... It's seven o'clock or maybe 6.30, two and a half hours later, and you're trying to hurry up and get some food before dinner is over. You go to the canteen and you swipe your card. And they say, sorry, you ate already. You can't eat. I'm not lying because this happened to me, girl. I ate three hours ago. No. It don't matter if you ate during dinner, you ate during dinner. The rest is on you. So either you spend up your money at Chick-fil-A, which is pretty expensive, but Chick-fil-A is expensive, like we all know this, or you start. And on many occasions, I had sleep for dinner. The only thing that opens late is Chick-fil-A, so like you're forced to spend your money if you're hungry. And if you don't want Chick-fil-A and you wanna order out, you gotta hurry up because everything in Baltimore closes at like 10.30. After 10.30, it's a wrap, like it's wraps, like, you're not eating anything. And it's not like you can go off campus and get food, like go to the nearest corner store or go to like a 7-Eleven or anything. Like 
there's nothing around. There's only McDonald's up the street and that's it. And I don't understand why they close the dining halls and all the dining options so early because they have to think about the students. Not everybody's parents have enough money to keep buying them snacks. We obviously don't have the money to buy snacks every day because we're broke college students. So like, what am I supposed to eat? I guess I'm gonna have to eat sleep. Another thing is, on the weekends, Chick-fil-A and Auntie Anne's and Subway is done up. They're closed. The canteen is closed. You eat at Rawlings and that's it. Or order out. The third con is Morgan is very clicky. Kind of hard to make friends there. I'm also very shy, but what I did notice is that like people come there with their group of friends already. They come there with their friends from high school and they just are not open to making new friends and like some of the girls to me seemed a little stuck up and like they didn't want to make new friends and i remember like we used to be talking about in class like you know making friends and they're like i don't really need no friends no more friends i have mine blah blah blah, blah. and it's not just me because when i used to talk to some people we would all agree that the school was kind of clicky and I thought that joining an organization would kind of help, which it did. I made some really good friends on my dance team, but the dance team to me was also very clicky too, because you know, there's some older girls and they're clicked up with each other. And it's just like the freshmen are like, we gotta make friends with each other. So go there with friends. The school doesn't give out a lot of scholarships. I don't know about anybody else who applied but I didn't get a scholarship and I found it really crazy because I worked really really hard in high school I got all A's um my SATs were okay but like I had a 4.0 GPA my senior year and all throughout high school I had like a 4.3 GPA 4.2 so I'm like why didn't I get a scholarship I wasn't even put in honors college all my hard work kind of went to waste their financial aid is also not all that. It's not that professional. Like the staff is not professional at all. Some of them are very rude. It's like they barely give money to you unless you really, really need it. Another thing about like the financial aid department and just like the staff in general, it's like they take very long to pick up the phone. Even before the whole Corona thing, it's like I have to call like 50,000 times for them to pick up the phone. And then it's like, sometimes they try to hang up all quick or something like, why are you acting like that? And the last con is that the area the school is in is bad. I sound crazy, but before I went there, I did not know Baltimore was bad. I should have looked up the area before I went to the school. That would have been smart. Instead of looking up the area, I'm going on YouTube and I'm looking up, you know, pros and cons of going to the school. I'm looking up you know, what the campus looks like, all of that stuff. Nobody's telling anything. Nobody's saying anything bad. So I'm like, oh, this school must be fine and dandy. If you want to go outside and go off campus and walk somewhere, you got to be extra careful because literally every other day, I'm not exaggerating, there's a robbery, like an armed robbery. A girl almost got robbed on campus. There's a lot of robberies on the off-campus housing, like at Morgan View and Marble. It's just crazy. You just have to be extra careful in Baltimore. It's very violent. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend going off campus and just walking around just for, just for pleasure. I expected it to be like, you know, Rutgers. Rutgers is like a big college town and you could just go outside and just enjoy life there's so many food options and places to go all of that like everything for the college student to do and then i get there and i'm like what is this and then when you go like to towson university which is probably like 15 minutes away it's like the mall is directly next to them they have the towson plaza and they have like all the stores like Target and Walmart and like Chipotle. Like I wish Chipotle was near Morgan. All that stuff for them and we don't have anything. So I wish that Morgan was in a better area or I wish they build the area around Morgan up because I feel like that's just kind of unacceptable. You just have to be 
very cautious, even on campus, because the campus is an open campus, so literally anybody can come on the campus and do whatever they want. I kid you not, like I promise you I'm not lying. I was making my way to Montebello because I had to take care of financial aid stuff. I promise you I saw some man in a hospital gown, limping, looking crazy, just walk onto our campus. And I'm just like, who is that? Who is that? And did nobody else see him? Like, who is this guy in a hospital gown? Like, he just ran away. Like, what's going on? Just make sure you have a taser, some mace. Even though they tell you don't have it, you need it. Those are the pros and cons of going to Maria State University. Um, like I said, I'm not trying to bash the school. Those are just, you know, the things that I noticed and the things that I didn't like and that I liked about the school. Unfortunately, I won't be attending that school anymore hopefully it's just not for me i mean it's a 50 50 situation you either like it or you don't when you look up schools just look at their retention rate and figure out why people are leaving the school because they have a very low retention rate like less than half of the student population graduate from the school so that means they're leaving or they're dropping out for some odd reason and i just feel like if you're planning on going to that school, you should maybe look into the reasons why people are leaving. I just feel like the school needs to look at those reasons too and fix them because they're, they're building up this campus and they're doing all this stuff, but they need a whole bunch of other things to fix instead of making new buildings. Before making new buildings, fix the ones you have, like the dorms build new dorm halls i feel like that's what they need to work on next i think they rented out the um the little complex next to the school where the mcdonald's is at they need to put some more stuff in there put a starbucks put a dunkin donuts i'm so i'm just so surprised there's no dunkin donuts in sight near that school put stuff there that would be convenient for the student that's just my experience i just want to put you guys on i want to let you guys know what you're in for. Hopefully it doesn't discourage your opinion about the school. For those of you that do plan on attending Morgan State, I hope you guys have a better experience than I did and I hope you guys really enjoy the school. I hope that maybe next semester the school will be better for you guys. But that's all for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the post notifications button and stay tuned for my next video.